Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play Rumble Jungle and Carry for Season 12 League of Legends. For your runes, you want Dark Harvest, Cheap Shot with Eyeball, Ultimate Hunter, Nimbus, and Transcendence. The main thing you need to know on Rumble Jungle is he is a massive level 6 power spiker. Pre-6, lots of things can beat him. So if you do want to be able to solo the enemy jungler, you're gonna need to take Ignite or Exhaust for your secondary summoner spell. If you still feel like you're gonna lose to them, because there's something that's ridiculously strong in solo fights, or they can kite you out, go ahead and just take flash and avoid trying to fight them all together. Usually on rumble, you're gonna wanna get a leash with from your bot lane to get the best start possible. Once you are level two, rumble starts to clear very well. He can't stack his uh, heat easily at level one. In fact, that's been nerfed on him. He used to be able to infinite stack with his W and that's when rumble used to be S tier jungle. At this point, you're gonna get your W because it's a, ooh. Oh, that was weird. The enemies did a chi strat there waiting in the bush for my teammates. You should get your W because it's a low cooldown. And we can get to our heat if we keep perma spamming our abilities. We definitely didn't need to use both potions. The only reason I did was because the enemies were here and I thought things were about to hit the fan. Make sure you don't blow your full heat before it's time. Your W is 20 heat, your Q is 20, and your E's are 10 each. So make sure you just have them ready. And once you are on heat, your auto attacks do a crap load of damage and even bonus damage against monsters. We're gonna go ahead and uh, push out here. It looks like Kane took our uh, blue buff. He's very, very low. I think I can surprise Yasuo here. Or at least push him off of this. He's gonna have to go all the way around now. That's fun for him. Uh, yeah, they're just running away. I'm gonna go to Kane's boot side. He's gonna miss it now. I can't believe he cheesed my jungle like that. We hit a pretty quick level three. Once you're level three on Rumble, you've power spiked. His level one's mad, level two mad, level three solid. God with my ignite, he's a goner, rest in pepperonis. I can definitely solo this guy. I think that'd be bot lane's coming, so I need to collapse on him like right now. And he's a goner, and me bot lane's still missing. It's making me nervous. Kane has not very good solo capability, level three. His level three isn't particularly scary, so I'm not too worried about him. When you're walking around the map, try to keep your heat anywhere from 60 to 70. That's the sweet spot. That way you can easily just use two abilities and flex to 100 heat and all in the opponents. I like to keep mine at 70. Gives you a little bit more wiggle room. I'm gonna max your Q first. I think Kane's gonna be on his blue buff. Definitely doesn't wanna give that up. We're gonna try to stack back up our heat, and when you're stacking your heat, you usually only use your Q and your W. Since your E's are on recharge, you don't wanna have that on cooldown. Don't know where Teemo went. I'll get this Y away. Rumble's clears get ridiculously healthy once you are level three. You pretty much don't lose any health because of your W shield spam, plus your overwhelming damage. You're constantly killing the monsters and canceling their auto attacks by killing them. They don't have time to really pinch off much. All right, we're gonna speed up into this guy in a second. Got him with the slow. Got him with another slow and a WQ. And he's a goner. Only reason I didn't use my speed up sooner is I was already behind him and he's running into me, so it was better to hold on to it. I don't wanna steal this CS. I'm just trying to get it low for Kench. I am leeching the XP. We're both getting 80% of the total. And then Teemo is going to miss out on 100% of the total of X amount of minions since he's not here. So even though I took 80%, Kench will still be ahead in uh, XP. And obviously he got the full goal since I wasn't stealing last hits. For your item rush, if you have trouble with activatables, go Night Harvest. If you don't have trouble with activatables, you really should be going for Rocket Belt. I'll go ahead and go Night Harvester just because uh, I think we're going to get really fed. And Night Harvester is better for our snipes on Rumble since it applies the damage instantly. 
It's really, really good for our snipes with Dark Harvest. Rocket Belt would have also been good to dodge Thresh Hooks. It would have been really nice, or to get out of MFRs in a pinch. It would have been really good for that. We got our heat up a little bit on the late side here. W into the Q. And then it dies instantly. <laughs> our auto attacks do ridiculous amount of damage. For those of you who weren't aware of the old rumble, I've done a video on it and he could, if you took the CDR runes, you could uh, stack your heat even level one for your first camp if you W spammed. He can't do that anymore. That's why he, you don't see him as much, but he can still definitely carry. If you play around his level three and his level six power spike, he's pretty solid. Almost level six. Kane's about to walk into me. This isn't warded. They're just running away. Action must have been on a ward or something. It's really weird how they move that fast. Thresh even lantered him out. I used my sweeper though. I don't think I was on the ward. Nice, we got it. And we got our R. I'm gonna ping it. I'm gonna find a good spot for it. Yeah, that cuts off his route. He flashed. We saw us flash through the fog of war. Yeah, his red's up. Try to get our heat up and then we'll take this real quick. Our Q's coming up here in a second. Might as well let our W come up. Make sure you keep an eye on your heat when you are farming. It starts to tick down if you haven't used ability for a little bit. Whenever you are clearing, it's most important to have your W and your Q. Your W helps you not take damage and your Q is obviously your main source of damage. So if you overheat yourself when your Q is ready to use and you didn't use it, you're missing out on a huge chunk of damage. Or if you overheat yourself when your W is ready to use and so you didn't get to use it, you're missing out on a really nice shield. Look how fast we're taking this, holy heck. We don't even have a full item yet, but we're absolutely chunking. Rumble can clear off a red and blue side, it's irrelevant. It's just about taking the three closest camps to get level three. Get level three as fast as possible, just all one side. Then you can continue to full clear or fight for scuttles. Just don't gank level one, level two, none of that nonsense. You need all three of your abilities so you can properly manage your heat. And if, plus if you don't have your E, you don't have a slow, so it's just kind of trash. Our R's already back up. We should go use that. We already know Yasuo doesn't have R. Timo has tier two boots. He doesn't have any HP stuff though. I would rather path into my bot side jungle. If I go top and it doesn't pan out, we'll be missing on triple camp plus potential dragon. Rumble's Flame Spitter, you don't have to have it on them constantly. Even if you're whipping it back and forth, it still does do full damage. You can go into training tool to verify what I'm saying, but it does do full damage. Even if you don't technically leave it on them, as long as you whip it back and forth, you can really hit everyone at once with it. Full damage output, which is kind of gross. I feel like they should change that. They, I feel like they did that just because Rumble is underplayed. So he has these quality of life things that ultimately don't make sense, but they feel good when you're using him. Still haven't had a chance to use our R for the second time. We should use our Herald bot side pre-14. Yeah, that was a hugely wasted R. So whatever, we'll get first turret out of it. She missed cannon, that sucks. Oh, I'm definitely dead here. Massive play by the enemies. At least we get first turret gold. That's nice. I don't think I don't know if we actually get the local gold since we were dead, but we do get first turret gold. Thresh had a nice little 
flay hook combo with the mfr into kane happening to be right there for your second item on rumble since his q and r both work even when you're in stasis as long as you've already used them you normally go for hourglass second item it keeps you alive and lets you keep doing your repeat q damage and your r obviously still works after you've cast it we're gonna max our e second wait he actually took my red buff it's actually nuts how big the enemy bot lane is getting i don't know if i'm gonna be able to help the thresh is doing too much work Given so much value. Those lanterns and hooks. We'll try to focus on the enemies who are behind so we can ensure easy uh, dark harvest stacks and scaling. We already have dragon. We'll keep playing for drag soul. Every time dragon's up, we'll path down into it. No, we'll pa Ooh, Timo is really low. I want this. This is so free. Trying to bait Kench under turret, maybe blind him. I think that's a bad idea. That's a snipe. Got him with EQ. Blue smite. Let's go, baby. It's a lot of gold. I think we can even get these turret plates. Oh. Freaking minions aren't quite under. I stepped on a mushroom as well. Kench almost just killed himself for that. Timo doesn't have TP. This should be first turret. Yasuo is dead. Kane's mid. Two of them bot. So with two dead. Or two just respawned. And three here on the map. We're very safe. Kane's going for my raptors because he's a dirty little rat. Our R's up very soon. It's a very low cooldown ability as long as you take the right runes. Transcendence and Ultimate Hunter. It's an awesome spammable ability. Super safe to cast, even if you have to disengage. You can use it offensively, defensively. It's a good pick tool. A good kill secure. It does everything, really. The only thing it doesn't have is super... It's not a hard CC. It's a good slow, but it doesn't actually pin them, so they can still flash or dash or whatever. Got it right on his head. Blue Smite, got Q down, ignited him, just in case he flashed towards the end. I already know my wraps are down. There's no reason for me to go back there. I'll just go top, start to build up our heat with our QW walking around. Teemo, you always want to scan for items, especially if you're about to fight. He doesn't have full item, and I do. So does Kench. Kench might kill him without me. Yeah, Kench just ate him. That sucks for Timo. I should uh, play for Harold. You can actually use the second charge of your harpoon while you're overheated as long as you use the first charge to get overheated or recently. Yeah, we'll get this Harold. We'll wrap this game up early. Might as well. Even though Rumble does play well in the late game, there's no reason to, to risk it for the biscuit like that. Might as well just end it. This is second Herald. <laughs> Rumble's ridiculously good at taking uh, objectives because this is overheat bonus damage. If I could hit this thing in the back, that would be really nice though. It's harder the closer you have to walls and sometimes the Herald doesn't really count it when you are hitting it in the back. There's some timings to it. Sometimes you need to cancel an auto or just not auto when you feel it's coming up and you just walk around and hit it in the back. Otherwise, you can put yourself in a chain where you hit it three times and you're not quite getting it. R's up. They're all playing towards Dragon. Oh, I don't really want to. We're going to walk into Teemo Mushrooms and stuff. Yeah, I'm laying this mid. Thanks for free outer turret. They get one dragon, not too concerned. We'll get local turret gold. And possibly two turret hits in, depending if they stop this or not. I 
I'm going to drop this on myself as defense. I was hoping it would be on Kane too. My R was a little off to the side, unfortunately. Didn't get too much value out of that. At the very least, it stopped him from chasing me, but still, it just wasn't quite in the right spot. We'll grab our red, and then we'll just sweep through our top side. I don't want to go to Krugs. I'm not feeling it. We can get all of our health back. Well, actually, you know what? I need a reset. I kind of wanted to grab top so my teammates didn't steal it. I'm sitting on so much gold, it makes sense to just recall. Plus, once I have Hourglass, they can't threaten me with anything on their team. I can Hourglass the Yasuo Tornado, the Thresh Hook, the MFR, the Kane R. I can just... All of their kill options, I can negate. Now that we have Hourglass, we want to go for Flame. If they have a lot of self-healing and you didn't go Ignite, then you need to go Morello third item. Their team has solid self-healing with the Thresh and potentially what Yasuo was building. So we would go for Morello third item, but like I said, since we do have Ignite, we don't need to. If they have like a Soraka Mundo, like ridiculous self-healing, then you would still want to get Morello so you could AoE apply burn. I uh, didn't really offer that to him, but all right. It may not seem like Rumble would need blue buff because he doesn't use mana. It's nice for him to have the extra cooldown though, so he can ability spam. Here comes Kane. This isn't actually warded. All right, it's worded now. I want to go drop my R. Got him. Oh, Thresh, you just messed up, my guy. I'm going to hourglass it. I don't want Yasuo to R me and then MF to R. I didn't realize Ken should push the MF away, so in hindsight, I probably didn't need hourglass. At the very least, we probably don't need Hourglass anyways for a play that's about to happen. Uh, that's fine, I'll just tank it. Ideally, Ken should tank that since he's giga tanky and has a bunch of armor. That Senna art definitely helped. You know, action, I can, I can handle the Krugs over here, big boy. Why don't you go get those minions or something? He knows he can't do anything. He's not even that fed. Me and him are comparable. I have more CS, more items. One level up on him as well. Oh, he's so hard to chase. My R was kind of sloppy and his E was up right when I went for that. And I'm going to die for it. Oh, that was an unfortunate limit test. Very, very unfortunate. I was hoping his E was on cooldown. I could have killed him so fast if it was. Even if Kane's in combat, he can E and it, and it will last for a minimum of 1.5 seconds. That's easily enough time for him to cross over any wall regardless of thickness. Because his E is a speed up and remove slow. So even though my R was slowing him... I think I blue smited him. I was trying to smite the buff, but I failed. So yeah, he's, he's kind of slippery. And we're not, I don't, we, we shouldn't do that anymore. It's not worth it at all to die like that. Gonna want to go for Sork Shoes or for Lucidities. I think Sork Shoes are a bit better if the enemy team has squishies like they have. We'll do play for this dragon fight. Your R's are especially good in actual team fights, not just one versus ones. In one versus ones, all they need is one flash to get out of it. In team fights, a lot of the times they need multiple flashes, which is a lot more resource. There we go. Wow. That's gonna that's gonna burn. <laughs> yeah. That was the R we were looking for. 
gotta be patient you can hover and then cancel it if you're not comfortable doing that go in the training tool and practice it because a lot of times on rumble you'll have it pre-selected so you can drop it on a dime but if it the situation doesn't go the way you want it you just don't use it so a lot of times you're just hovering it kind of like you're gonna s slap a mosquito that's rumble art Easy Raptors. That's what you get, Kane, for taking my Raptors. I can, my R is already back up. I can use my R more than once per minute, which is funny because I have the strongest R. Maybe in the game, MFR is almost as good as mine. The fact that she has to stand still makes it only situationally stronger than mine. Mine's a slow, hers isn't. I don't have to stand still for the full duration she does. Uh, I wonder if mine actually does more damage. With equal items, I wonder if Rumbles does. I feel like it doesn't. I'm completely whiffed. That was a really bad hover on my part. I don't think I'm going to get him there. Fortunately, I wish I had my R. I wasted it on MF and completely uh, got a stinky whiff. The stink whiffer. Whiffer gone stinky. Right, 17 seconds. Since they're pushed away from their turrets, it's pretty safe for us to invade. You wouldn't want to start Baron since they're nearby and all of them are alive. Baron would be a really greedy call. Most likely we'd all die and they would get Baron, which would bring them back in the game neck and neck. I'm going to ping out the area just in case Kench isn't paying attention. He's up way, way, way too far compared to the rest of the team. He's off sides. He's going to get... Uh, Reported and deported by the uh, league officials for uh, being off sides there. I remember as a kid watching my brothers play soccer and uh, Things would be called off sides and I, I just My six-year-old brain could not comprehend what offsides meant or how that happened. It just made no sense to me It was too much to handle Got the E slow, W, bonk, he's a goner. He brought back Kench, that's pretty sweet. Keep playing for the R plays. If your R's on cooldown, don't go for anything too crazy. This wave will start pushing now. It lost half of its minions. I gotta get out of here though. Stepping on shrooms. I really love this shield. It's so freaking strong. It's one of the best shields in the game. It activates instantly. It's like frame for frame instant. And it's a fast speed up as well. Very low cooldown. No mana cost. Doesn't get much better than that. Only thing that it doesn't have that most shields in League do is a lot of shields in League can cast on allies. Like Tark Shield, Janna, Karma Shield. All right, got Thresh Flash for my R. That's really good. Flash is five minutes. My R is less than a minute. Hmm. Still, the team almost had him. It's really good. R is already almost back up. Just need another 20 seconds here. And this is Rumble, ladies and gentlemen. Once you get into the mid-late game... Once you have at least two points in your R, you just take as many camps as you can. When your R is up, you look for a fight. I don't want to step up there. My teammates are splitting. We actually don't want to look for a team fight there. When your teammates are on the splits, your job to push without dying. You don't actually want to force a fight three versus five. That would be really bad. Mm, 
Yeah, my R wasn't any good there either. Oh, my R just wasn't good. I should have put it fat ways since they were going to engage on top of us. I put it long and they kind of just moved around it. We should definitely team fight though. Rumble's team fights are too good to 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 justify split pushing. It's like having a fiddlesticks on your team, but you want to split. You are that good. Especially if Kench or anyone on my team can land some kind of CC on them. Kench goes in one versus four. The expected outcome happens. Action falls in close behind. Does pick up a kill, but goes down for it. Not really worth. MF got the shutdown off of him too. Not great. I'll get Shadow Flame, then we'll go straight for Ravadon. Shadow Flame is very spicy item. Magic Penetration, HP, and AP. We need to get to level 3 R here. Starting to burn through our lead, dying this much. I can sell a Yasuo, he's only one item. Waiting for heat to go down to 70 so I can speed up without overheating. Should be right here, right? Gone with my Ignite. Got overheat on, and he's dead. Plus, I had run tough. Dropping your R on top of them and on top of yourself at the same time against the melee champs is really good because then they can't hit you back and if they do, they'll lose by default. So they have to run and while they're running, they're getting hit by your, your Q and your E. Puts them in a lose-lose situation. Range champs is a little more tricky because they don't have to uh, stand on you to hit you. So your R placements against range champs has to be a little bit cleaner. Yeah, I got you, MF. You were greedy. She didn't realize her team had moved a couple feet that way. A screen about one screen away daddy rumble comes in from behind yeah thresh is so annoying he's putting out pressure no me gusta this is a lot of uh mist for her to pick up Yeah, yeah, he can't get me. Got him with the R, baby. I'm, I'm overheated, though. I'm going to die. I got some decent damage with my R. I definitely greeted out. I made the mistake of overheating before I pressed R. The good thing about your R is you can cast it, and it doesn't cost... It doesn't do any heat. So, for example, let's say I was at... 70 heat in that situation if i w now i'm at 90 i'm at q now i'm full heated i can't cast my r i should have just r w q'd and i would have gotten to use all three tragic mistake leading to my death all right let's get this Robidon though really tempted to sell this uh dark seal can't quite afford the raba even if i do i don't think i could Yeah, we're not. I don't want to wait on the base for over 100 gold. That's kind of whack. I'll just grab a mesh for now. I'll get the Robba later. I can get a couple of kills this fight. Looks like our 80 carry just DC'd. It's not great. Action out of position. My character randomly stopped moving as well. <laughs> All right, Kench is splitting. We got to get over there. Got to get some pressure down. Ooh, never mind. Teemo's top. This is even easier. Yeah, just like that. He must have been looking at that fight over there. There's no one close to him on the mini-map. We attacked him from out of vision with our R, and so did Caitlyn. So he probably didn't even realize he died there initially. Dude, these mushrooms, though.
these mushrooms surprised there's still any here it's really dedicated to this split push R's coming back up maybe find something on MF she doesn't have shield bow either so she's gonna be really really squishy you could just play for dragon Got the R ready. If you don't want to pre-do it like this to make it easier, just hover your cursor where you think you're going to want it so you can at least have the cursor in the right spot. Hope I don't get five man collapsed on here. That would make me very, ooh, Yasuo just wasted wind wall. There's a fatty daddy R. That was huge. Oh, you're dead MF. I'm gonna have the hourglass. Nice. That was awesome. I, I was really happy with that R placement. I hit several people with it. And it was in a solid position where if they try to retreat, they'd lose. And since it was already on top of them to begin with, even if they engaged off that point, they'd still be missing a large chunk of HP. Solid. Checking for wards. And it's already back up. 38 second cooldown. We're not even full build. Spicy, I'll tell you what. MF's gonna do her shenanigans. I'm gonna drop a fat juicy R on her face. Yeah, nice try, Thresh. And that is GG's. If you guys enjoyed this Rumble Jungle commentary guide for Season 12, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kinksticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at damage dealt, we did have the most in the game. Then we take a look at damage taken. We had one of the higher ones in the game. Taking a look at runes, Dark Harvest did nearly 3,000 damage. We used it 25 times. Cheap Shot was 913. We had our eyeballs maxed out. We had all five stacks of Ultimate Hunter, Nimbus Cloak we used it 25 times, and Transcendence did something.